I will discuss about pathophysiology of heart failure. Heart failure results in decreased cardiac output and decreased blood pressure. So for this, our body tries to compensate for the decreased cardiac output and for the decreased blood pressure by different compensatory mechanisms, mainly involves the sympathetic nervous system, resulting in increased norepinephrine, epinephrine and dopamine, and renal hypoperfusion due to the decreased blood pressure and decreased cardiac output uh, to increase the cardiac output and the decreased blood pressure by increasing sodium and water retention and increasing the renin angiotens into the aldosterone system so that all in all it increases the afterload and it increases the preload, it increases the heart rate and increases the contractile of the myocardium. So all these results in increment of the cardiac output and increment of the blood pressure. Additionally, there will be increment in cytokines and uh, increase in myocardial wall stress, which increases atrial nitrate peptide and uh, the brain nitrate peptide, uh, in addition to the upper main uh, compensatory mechanisms. Temporarily, these compensatory mechanisms tries to alleviate the decrement of cardiac output and decreased blood pressure. But with long term, there will be a remodeling, which includes hypertrophy of the myocardium, asynchronous contraction, arrhythmias, and other things, which further worsens the heart failure and further decreases the cardiac output and decreases the blood pressure to cardiac output and also the blood pressure. So thanks for watching.